<laughs> well, what's up, people? This is the couch, and we're here celebrating the holiday season. I'm so glad to have our new members on the couch. If you guys like the show, please write in and subscribe and let us know. And for those who keep asking how do you subscribe, go to YouTube, and then where it says sign in, sign in and create an account, and then hit the subscribe button, and that's how you do it. So then you'll always know when new shows pop up. Uh, we want to introduce our cast members we have. Kyle. Egypt. Anthony. Michael. And you can also follow us on Egypt's Couch at, uh, what is that, Twitter? Gmail. And also Gmail. But I know you can Twitter Egypt's Couch and you can follow us and get the new updates. We also want to give a big shout out to San Diego. A uh, big props to Oceanside. Our mom, uh, Carrie, who's watching the show. We love you. Hey. Um, what's going on? So we're here to talk about friends and what they mean to you. And also, have you ever been in love with a friend? So let's talk about first, what do you expect from a friend? You can? Okay. <laughs> uh, what I expect from a friend, honestly, I don't have expectations of friends. I just, you know, I just want them to be themselves. And if I like them, then I'll take them. And if I don't like them, I just leave them. You get what I'm saying? Cool. Now, do you, uh, with friends, do you expect to, like, when you loan the money, are you willing to look at your wallet? I don't expect, but don't, don't sell me, okay, can I borrow $30 and I'll pay you back on Thursday. And then Thursday come and I call you, you don't have it. Now, that's a problem. But if I give you $30, you're like, can I have $30? And that's that. And I give it to you, I'm not going to expect it back. Okay. Now, are you kind of tip for tap, Mr. Mike? Um, I am. I think that with friends that when you're paying with the money thing, it's going back and forth with, you know, just I'll pay for something and then next week you'll pay for something. You don't right. even worry about it. It's just something that just goes with the friendship. I got you. You got me. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um... I mean, like when you it, it changes though if like you're consistently giving over and over again. Yeah. I mean, then then to be like, hey, hold on a minute. Now, what are barriers? <laughs> what are barriers that turn you off about a friend? Like, do you like you know, for instance, like when friends let you down? Like, what lets you down from a friend? Lying. Lying. For me, it's when you. Uh, I think when you try to one up me on the you know friend collecting, like you try to try to outdo me by calling all of my friends that you met through me and try to throw <laughs> functions outside of me. Really. Wow. So yeah, that kind of works me. But at the end of the day, they still call me to say should they go. I love it. What about I think what really works me is just the scandalous behavior yeah. that some people can do. And then one minute they want to say you're friends, and then another minute they want to label you as an acquaintance. And like you need to be clear with that at the beginning. Right. Right. So now, what about you? I already said pretty much all I have. One thing I hate, I can't, it, it's like my pet peeve. I do not like being lied to by anybody. Yeah, you can come on here, Raul. It's fine. They, they always see Raul walk in the background. Yeah, here. Right? So they, in fact, they write in and talk about that. Now, what I also from friends, now, have you ever been in love with a friend? Like, had a crush on them, and really, you really thought they were hot all this time, and all of a sudden, you turned it off. I had a crush on Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded real sexual. So, so but no, I used to be in love with my best friend. And that was the reason why I kind of made him my best friend. Because we dated for like three weeks. The first week we were talking, and two weeks after that, he never called me. I was okay. like, huh? So then I got mad. I was like, oh, fuck you. But then the fact that I still liked him, I was like, well, I guess we could be best friends. And that was just my way of keeping him around. But you know. Yeah, and I, honestly, I don't think I fall in love with my friends. I think when I see them as a friend, I either chalk them in the category of son, daughter, Best friend, I don't really cross. Well, I was 13 when that took place. Well, you were fast. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what about you? Mike, were you in love with me when you first met me? Okay. No, no. I'm mean, <laughs> you know, menage a twizzle up in here. You're an attractive person, but we became sisters. And oh, my God. Let me tell you what really happened. <laughs> this boy he used to get real tipsy. <laughs> he would date my boy uh, Adam. I'm putting you on blast. He used to be like, oh, Adrian, I wish he was Adam. Lies. No, I'm just <laughs> but no, but for real, I, I I truly keep my friendships platonic. So just let's write in and let me know what you think about can you be in love with your friend? And for those, you know, I know it's typically a gay subject matter, but that's for anybody. Women, have, have, do you have that guy friend that you find attractive and you really want to let them know? Also, right. have you did it and it was successful? Have you ended up being with your best friend? No, never. No. no. So you don't recommend having sex with your best friend? I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna say don't do it. If you want to do it, test the waters because I'm all for temptation. But don't. I mean, I don't think it'll work. They have if you to think be, it's gonna if you think it's gonna just stay how it is, you got you got it wrong. It's it, everything's right. gonna change. change. It's, it's going to change whether you like it or not. I mean, it could be good, it could be bad, but expect change. That's what so you really So when we expect. were strippers and I was in the back beefing up, were you looking at me like <laughs> I might cha it might change? Asia, why you gotta be so mad? Okay. Okay. What's the holiday? I'm gonna stop throwing him in. <laughs> <laughs> 
let you know. I'm so glad you guys watched the show. This is the couch, and this is just a snippet of uh, a few of the shows we're going to try to take and get out. I'm trying to get back to my Christmas tree, so if it feels like I'm rushing, it's because I want to decorate my tree. Right, so we're going to talk a little bit more. So when I first met Asia, you know, I was younger, and I was like, oh, he's really cute. I thought he was really cute, but he did things that, like, turned me off on of liking him. On purpose. But it wasn't, like, things that were bad, like, oh, I can't stand him, he's so girly, you know, whatever. But it was just, like, it went from me liking him to be, like, wanting to be with him, opposed to just liking him to want to be around him. Okay. That's but cool. I was never in love with him. Like, that was yes, bad. he was. He was lusting after me, ladies and gentlemen. As I go throw up in the back of his camera. <laughs> and when I first met Egypt, he tried to rape me in a club. <laughs> oh, they are so... Oh, let me tell y'all. This is... The devil is a lie. He's not lying because he's not lying. lying. Oh, my God. I believe it. <laughs> okay, that's he fine. He came I'll, I'll ass up that. behind me with his little doo doo shorts and stuff and just tried to rape me. <laughs> and they were funky, too. Oh, okay. In front of my sister. So you know who won't be on the couch next week? <laughs> Bye. Egypt won't be. <laughs> Bye, dear. We love you. It's the couch. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm-hmm.